Hey yogis, welcome. This is Joe with Vibe Now. Thank you for joining me today for a one hour power vinyasa yoga sequence. Today we're gonna to be using a towel for a couple little binds that we're gonna do. Straps work good too. Towels, um, if you got those handy, work really, really good. Um, and we're gonna get started today in child's pose. So let's come on to your mat. And just take a moment here, maybe take your knees slightly wider as we shift our hips back and then reach your arms forward. So let's get the hips to open up a little bit here. Now maybe your hips need to be a little bit lifted, maybe forearms on your mat and forehead on your mat here, just on your palms as they stack. So lots of options here in child's pose. And then if you're reaching your hands forward, just stretch your spine. Take a moment to close your eyes. Feel the length in your spine here. Maybe feel the hips start to open. So stay right there. And let's take three deep cleansing breaths. Inhale through your nose. And open mouth. Let's try that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open mouth. Last deep breath in, open mouth, same deep breath, mouth stays closed. And imagine maybe you're fogging up an imaginary mirror on your yoga mat. So feel the strength and the power of the breath, that mouth stays closed. Keep breathing these deep, slow yoga breaths. And this yoga breath is gonna help us through our practice today. So it's gonna help us stay really more present, more mentally grounded in who we are and what we're doing. So we have that intensified mental focus and concentration. It's also gonna help us when things are a little more challenging. It's gonna help us stay stronger mentally and physically. It's also gonna help us calm down can help us slow down the heart rate. So the breath is such an integral part of our yoga practice. Notice when your mind starts to drift away from your breath and gently coax it back during the practice. Let's take one more big deep breath in, in child's pose. Nice. Let's walk our hands over to the right side. Let's kind of shift your hips to the left a little bit. Feel these left ribs really fan open. You can even stack your hands and yeah, really get that side body to open up and breathe into that space. So one more breath, big deep breath in. And when you slowly, let's take it to the opposite side. So hands are now going to walk over to the left. Hips kind of shift a little bit to the right. So just kind of feel your pelvis lean to the right a little bit. And then breathe into the right side body. Ribs fanning open. Yeah, feel all the length down from your arm, shoulder, rib cage, waist, maybe all the way to your hip. Nice. Let's bring it all the way back to the center. One more deep breath here. Shift back a little bit more. Exhale. Inhale, let's rise up, table pose, hands and knees pose. So fingers spread really wide, straighten the arms. Yeah, a couple little cow cats. So warming up, spine just a little more. Inhale, belly drops, tailbone and head lift. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Close your eyes, just move with your breath here. Maybe find some of those tighter areas along your spine. Kind of work into those. See if you can kind of find those little tight areas. Let's do one more cow. One more cat. And then just kind of shift back on the heels of your feet. Now if you need to, maybe sit on your bottom here. And then palms together in the heart of space. We're going to set an intention for our class today. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. So find the alignment in your spine. Abs are pulling in, shoulders relaxed. And our intention today is embracing change, recognizing that change comes from the inside. 
And it's an opportunity for us to find growth. It's an opportunity for us to learn things. It's an opportunity for us to expand who we are. So use this concept of embracing change through the class today. Hold that intention in your heart space. Slowly open your eyes and let's come into downward facing dog. Now come on your knees, again, fingers spread really wide. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up in the air. Shift your weight back, walk your dog, press right heel, left heel, maybe both heels, tailbone lifting. Maybe the hands need to be a little bit wider. Maybe the feet need to be a little bit wider, depending on what you're feeling in your body. Maybe bend your knees a little bit and reach the tailbone to the sky and press the belly and chest toward your thighs. Shake your head out a little bit. Just breathe here, close your eyes. Cultivate this yoga breath. Nice, let's take two more. Just breathe it in, slow, deep yoga breaths. And use your mental focus. Concentrate, connect, feel, notice, observe. And then when you're ready, let's bend the knees, walk the feet up toward your, the top of your yoga mat, standing forward fold. I always like my feet a little bit wider here. Knees could soften, maybe grab elbows here, hang over your legs. Let's also, if you like, I want to offer a little chest and shoulder opener, hands behind the back. Intertwine the fingers. This is where the towel works really good. So towel in your hands. Straight elbows, stretch your arms off your back. Drop your head, close your eyes. Just breathe. Remember, you can always have your hands forward here. So the hands don't have to come behind the back. Just go where you want to go. Notice what you're feeling. Notice every breath, every sensation in your body. Maybe rock forward a little bit on your toes and rock back a little bit on your heels. Last two. Beautiful job, y'all. One more breath. All right, if your arms are behind your back, go ahead and release your hands to your mat. Left fingers are going to come on your yoga mat. Inhale, lift your right arm up and twist. So maybe you're a little higher. Look up to your right hand. Bend your left knee toward your left elbow. Beautiful. Let's wake up the spine with a deep twist. Turn your head. Maybe straighten your right leg a little bit. Maybe come up a little higher. Last two breaths. Lots of options. So if you're new to yoga, I'll show you where to go. Exhale. Fold down. Yeah, so ultimately, just listen to your body. And all the options I'm going to show you. Yeah, and then let your body kind of show you where to go. All right, let's twist to the left. Bend your right knee toward your right arm. Maybe come up a little higher. Maybe fingertips. Spread your fingers on your left hand. Now rotate the ribs and look to your hand. So let's get into the neck a little bit too. That's part of the spine. Straighten your left leg a tiny bit more if you can. Two breaths. Beautiful spinal twist. One more breath. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, bend your knees. Roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders come up. And then the head comes up. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Big stretch, firm arms, shoulders relax. Maybe take a tiny back bend. So I'm tucking my tailbone under. And then reaching up as you go back. Yeah, reach up, reach up. So sternum lifting, arms reaching, but shoulders relaxed. One more breath. Mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Let's do a little vinyasa flow. Sun A. Inhale, halfway lift. Back like a table. Palm your fingers on your shins. Exhale, bend your knees. Palms on your mat. Walk or step. Let's come into plank pose. Knees are your option here, so anytime you come to knees, if you do have wrist tissues, you can come onto your forearms and just hold a little forearm plank here. Half 
of places to go. Now we're gonna shift forward and back a little bit. So abs are lifting, press the mat away, and use the front body on your plank pose. And then use your breath to tap into that mental power and strength. All right, here we go, shift forward. We're setting up for our chaturanga push-up. Maybe drop to your knees. As you exhale, elbows bend by your side body. Come back to plank. Let's try it again. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. You only have to go halfway. Exhale, lift. All right, now exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Straighten your elbows if you can. Maybe lift your knees off your mat. Roll the shoulders back, look forward. If you want, look up a little bit. Nice, I know we're always down on our phones. So lift your head, look up. One more breath, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes. Pull back with your core, downward facing dog. Walk it out a little bit, shake your head out. Awesome. All right, here we go. Let's take it back to the top of your mat. High on your toes. Exhale, bend knees. Walk or jump. Top your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Extend the spine. Navel pulling in. Exhale, fold. Maybe bend your knees here. Lower up. Inhale, mountain pose. See if you can kind of do this with a flat back. Kind of like a reverse swan dive. Mountain pose, exhale, a swan dive back down. So straight spine, maybe bend your knees. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, palms on your mat, walk or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take a couple breaths in your downward facing dog. Working the backs of the legs. One more deep yoga breath in. All right, let's lift up on our toes. Exhale, bend knees, walk or jump. Top your back. Inhale, lift that leg. Exhale, fold in a little deeper. Feel your hamstring stretch. Inhale, reverse swan dive, lift. Beautiful, y'all. Let's do one more. Here we go. Dive down in your legs. Remember, knees can be bent here. Inhale, lift halfway. Extend your spine. Exhale, palms down. Walk or jump back. Bottom of a push up. Remember to shift forward to get that alignment in the shoulder. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Beautiful job, y'all. Walk it out a little bit. Maybe rock your hips side to side. Yeah, deepen your breath. Okay, let's open up the legs and the hips a little bit. Yeah, get the legs. Bend the knee, roll the hip. Maybe some circles here. Just let it feel good. Changing direction. So good for the hip. Right, here we go, right leg high, extend your leg, press your left heel down, and then press your chest toward your left thigh. Beautiful. One more breath. Inhale when you're ready, lift up high on your left tippy toes. Exhale, right knee to chest, round your spine. Bring your head in toward your knee. Yeah, maybe nose to knee. Straighten your elbows. One more breath, nose to knee. Inhale, shift back, leg high, stretch. Exhale, tippy toes, knee to nose. Straight arms. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold it for four, three. Straight elbows, knee higher, two. And release, leg high. All right, let's get out the hands. Exhale, tippy toes. Bring your foot through between your hands. Now, if your foot doesn't come all the way to your hands, grab it and help it up. Inhale, crescent lunge, arms lift. Beautiful, y'all. 
Maybe come to your knees. So lots of options here. Maybe lifting a lot. Maybe a shorter stance. If you're really going for that big hip opener. Notice that the knee is tracking through the middle toes or kind of moving side to side. Really firm your quad. Squeeze your booty. Beautiful, y'all. All right. Now, if you're tip forward, kind of tilt back. Feel this low belly really firm up. One more breath. Shoulders relaxed. Exhale. Palms together at the heart space. Now, stay here. Or we're going to do a little reverse eagle tap. So I'm going to take my left knee, shift forward, tap my right calf. Inhale, crescent lunge. Release your foot. Reach your arms up. Exhale, try it again. Palms together. Tap the knee or stay in crescent. Inhale, crescent. One more time, y'all. Exhale, palms to the heart. Tap the knee. Inhale, put to the back. Reverse warrior. Drop your back heel. Circle the arms up, reach. Now, left arm reaching down your leg. Bend your front knee a little more. Feel again the waist, the ribs. Really open up. Maybe roll the shoulder back, look to your arm. One more breath, a little deeper. Exhale when you're ready, vinyasa. So we're gonna take that high or low push up. Maybe float your right leg back. Maybe come to your knees. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, yogis, reset. We're gonna take the same sequence, super slow on the left. Here we go. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, just kind of move that leg around and roll the hip, circle it around. Yeah, get the hip to open up a little bit. One more breath. All right, now we're gonna lift up high on the right tippy toes. Exhale, knee to chest. Round your spine. Focus on bringing your head closer to your knee, nose to knee. Straight elbows. All right, here we go. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull in tight. Inhale, leg high. So much core and upper body here. Beautiful, now hold it right here. Straight arms. You can always drop down and rest. Last two, three. Keep breathing, one more. Nice, inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, and then step your foot through. Help it up if it needs a little help. Bend your knee, inhale, crescent lunge. Now find that deep knee bend. Low belly pulling in. Shoulders relaxed. Arms are really strong and firm. Beautiful job, y'all. Nice deep breath here. Last two. Crescent lunge. Remember, always drop to the knee if you need that. One more breath. All right, here we go. The palms go to the heart space. We're staying low in this leg. And just bringing the right knee up to tap the left calf. You can step your foot on your mat. Get you a little extra balance there. All right, step back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Arms lift. Exhale, palms together. Tap knee to calf. All right, y'all, we got one more. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, a little reverse eagle tap. Woo! I had a little bit of balance there. All right, we're going to step back the foot. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stretch your left arm up over your head, right arm down your leg. Pull the knee to the pinky toe. You gotta gauge your glute here. This is glute maximus, glute medius. Now feel the whole side body open. Last two breaths, lean back. Dip lower, one more breath. Can I give up? Exhale, vinyasa. Hands to the mat, pull your leg back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, y'all. A little faster. Here we go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to dome. Shift forward. Inhale, leg high. Shift back. 
Exhale, knee to nose. All right, y'all, we got one more. So we're doing three of these, knee to nose. Now hold for four. Drop your head, knee higher. Three, tippy toes in the back. Two, inhale, leg high. Stretch it all the way up to the sky. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, palms together, tap your knee. Remember, you can stay in crescent. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, palms to the heart, tap your knee. One more, y'all. Inhale. Exhale. I know you gotta just smile on that one. Inhale, step back, reverse warrior. Heel drops. Right arm reaches over your head. Exhale, vinyasa, hands to the back. Hide a little push up. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, last time, left leg, here we go. Knee up, shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, so you're shifting forward like that plank. Inhale, lift. Last time, y'all, hold it for four. Use your breath. Yeah, rest if you need to. Three. Yeah, you be you. Two. Inhale, leg high. Stretch it all the way up. Exhale, tippy toes. Step through. Left foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, palms to the heart. Knee taps. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, palms together. Tap your knee. We got one more of that little tap. I know, it's balanced, so it's a little bit harder when you're standing on one leg. All right, foot to the back. Reverse warrior, stay low. The temptation is to straighten your legs, stay low. Exhale, vinyasa. Hands to the back. Chaturanga. Woo! Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, shift back. Nice. All right, high on your toes. Look to the top of your mat. Exhale, walk or jump. Feet between your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Get a little closer to your legs. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Woo! Exhale, dive back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga, walk or jump back. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Nice job, y'all. All right, little reset right here. Pump your breath. Deepen it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through the sequence again. Just vinyasa style. One breath, one pose. Just moving, flowing, hitting our bodies. Kind of like a little yoga dance. I'm going to add on a couple poses. And we're going to throw in some more balance. I know, tell yourself, you got this. I know you're telling yourself right now, I got this. All right, change is good. Challenge, something challenging is gonna create that change in you. So accept the challenge. Here we go, right knee, or right leg up. Knee to nose, shift. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Let's do it one more time. Now as we hold, Stay right here. Maybe drop to your knee. If you want, I'm going to turn to the left. So my left heel comes down, side plank. Now you keep your knee up. You could drop your knee to your mat. You can also kick your leg out for starfish. Or a falling star. Lots of different names for this one. Push the mat away with your right palm. Stretch your left hand up. Last two breaths. Breathe. Maybe float your foot up. One more breath, that's so hard, y'all. All right, here we go, release. Hand to mat, right leg high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Here we go, three taps, knee to the calf. Here's one. Inhale, reach up, crescent. Exhale, knee to calf. Inhale, crescent. Last one, and we're gonna hold this one, hold this one. Knee to calf. Now, if you tap your knee on your calf, it kind of stabilizes your pelvis instead of letting it float behind you. 
All right, here we go. Left hand down to your mat, right arm up. We're going to take a little twist here. If you're losing your balance, move your left hand to the left a little more. Beautiful. One more breath, look up to your hands. Exhale, foot to the back. Inhale, reverse warrior. All right, adding on right here, side angle, extended side angle. So if you can, maybe arm on your leg. Reach your arm over your head, so left arm over your head. Maybe fingers to your mat. Now if you want to get your hand to your mat, instead of bending through your back, I want you to bend through your knee to get your hand down. So here's the difference. Bending knee, bending back. Yeah, so once you get deeper into your hip, use your legs. All right, let's do a half line. I'm turning my palm to the back, wrapping it around my back. Hold. Half line, inside angle. Maybe lift your bottom arm. I know, you gotta use your core on that one. Last two. Now hold your find. We're gonna come into a little bound triangle. I'm gonna lift up a little bit. So maybe your right hand is on your shin. Maybe your thigh. Yeah, maybe you got a little bit to the ankle. Beautiful, roll the left shoulder back, look to the sky. Bound triangle. Beautiful. One more breath. Nice. All right, let's bend the front knee back to that side angle with the bind. Hold your bind. Inhale, reverse warrior with the bind. Exhale, vinyasa. Hands to that. All right, how do we do yogis on the add-on? Give me a little thumbs up. Do you like it? You don't like it? <laughs> Walk it out. Woo! All right, left side, y'all. Here we go. Left leg up. Knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, y'all, one more. All right, we gotta hold it right here, hold. Remember, all your options, knee. Yeah. Maybe you're rolling to the side plank, so I'm turning to the right side, dropping my left heel. Put your right arm up, hold your knee in. Rest it on your mat, or you can kick it out. Falling star or starfish. Really straighten this left arm. Right arm reaches, abs in. Maybe lift your foot for four, three, two, and release. Leg behind you, downward facing dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, press and lunge. We got this, y'all. Exhale, prayer hands, tap the cat. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, tap the cat. One more, y'all. Inhale, reverse eagle tap, hold. Could you get a little lower? Nice. All right, here's our twist. We're gonna bring our right fingers to the mat. Inhale, lift the left arm. And remember, you can bring your toes to your mat for balance. Yeah, your foot does not have to be lifted. It's totally up to you. For three, look up to your head. I know the balance is the hardest part. Two, all right, we're gonna bring our right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. We've already done this one. Exhale, here's our add-on, side angle. Extended side angle, beautiful. Now, remember, just stay with your thigh here if you like. If you want to get your fingers to the mat, bend your knee. Bend your knee, not your back. Spine is straight. All right, here's our half spine. Turn the palm behind you. Wrap your right arm around your back. Woo! Half spine, side angle. Roll the shoulder, head back, look to the right. All right, stay here or triangle and come up a little bit. So it just depends on your hamstring flexibility. Maybe the hand is a little higher on the thigh. Shin, a little tiny bend in the knee, maybe lower to the ankle. Nice. Keep rolling the right shoulder back. Maybe your hand is just behind your back. For four, 
three breaths, two, and your front knee back to bow, side angle. Right, maybe you've got that little arm option. Inhale, reverse warrior with the vine. Exhale, vinyasa. Woo! All right, yogis, we got those extra add-ons. Guess what? One more time through, walk it out. Woo! Couple breaths. All right, here we go, walk or jump, chop your back. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, stretch your legs, you're warm now, you're loose, get deeper. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pull that down. All right, last one, y'all. Half lift. Chaturanga, walk or jump back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, here we go, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, lay high. We got the shot. Exhale, knee to nose. One more. Knee to nose, fold. Come to your knee. Roll inside plank. So many options, y'all. So many options. Yeah, where do you want to go today? What can change for you right now? Where's the challenge? You feel it, I'm shaking right now. That's change, the shake is change. One more breath. All right, bring it back, leg high behind you, downward facing dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, palms with the knees tap. Reverse eagle. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, reverse eagle tap. Inhale, one more. Exhale, hold. Here's our twist. Left fingers down, right arm up. Maybe toe taps behind you. Get into the hip right here. All right, one more add-on. Grab your left foot with your right hand. I think about that one. I'm holding my right foot, or my right hand is grabbing my left foot. Reverse dancer, we're gonna lift up. Yeah, if you have to let go of your foot, let go. Reach your left arm forward. Look at your left hand, that's your gaze point. Kick in your right hand. Yeah, now maybe you're a little more lifted here. Maybe you're dropping all the way into this. We got four, three, two, release, beautiful, crescent lunge. Woo. Nice, now roll into that reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, mind. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, back to side lunge. Beautiful, reach back. All right, adding on, half moon balance. One more balance. Bring your right hand in front of your right foot. Keep your left leg up. So we got a little half bind here in our half moon balance. I'm gonna look down and help you with my gaze. And for balance. Now if you want, you can take a bind here, grabbing the left foot, kicking up. Yeah, so you can just grab behind your back, half bind, you can grab the foot. Maybe flow your fingers off your mat for four, three, two. All right, release your bind. Exit into side lunge, so bend your right knee, Shift in your left foot, side lunge. Beautiful, feel your inner thigh open. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vinyasa, we did it. Guess what, we got one more leg to go. One more side. Exhale, downward facing dog, walk it out. All right, y'all, all I did was add in two little balance poses. We got this. All right, left leg up. Knee to chest. Inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest. 
One more. Four at a knee. I can go deeper. And remember, stay here. You can rest your leg on the back. Can roll it aside plank. Starfish. Yeah, maybe hold your leg up. Now find what's most challenging for you. Three breaths. Engage every muscle. Two. And release. Leg behind you. Exhale. Step through. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Exhale. Prayer hands. Knee tap. Inhale. Crescent. Stay low and deep. Exhale. Tap. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Tap. Hold right here. Hold right here. Get a little lower. Could your knee get close to your ankle? All right, here's our twist. Left arm up, right hand down. And when your foot can come on your mat, okay, you might need to kick stand that out a little bit. Keep your balance for four. Twist, three. Ooh, this one's hard, two. All right, now we're gonna reach back. So my left hand is gonna grab my right foot. It's right there, it's right there. Now this is a tough lift. Give it a try, push up. Leg and hip strength. All right, maybe stay here. Maybe a hand in front. And yeah, maybe you're kicking in a little bit. Now yeah, find your gaze point. Beautiful reverse dancer's pose. Kick your back foot in your hand. Find your back bend. Great shoulder chest stretch for four. Stay with it, three, two, all right, release. All right, I'm just gonna come to Crescent and then open up, reverse warrior. All right, side angle, y'all. Here's our half five. Reach around, hold. Back in a little deeper, what's possible here? One more breath. All right, here we go, triangle. Yeah, you might have to lift up a little higher here. Keep rolling. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep your mind. Exhale, bring your left hand in front of your left foot. Bound, half moon. So I've got my arm around my back, that's my mind. Could you change your mind? Yes. Maybe you're gonna grab your foot right here. If you bring your knee to your chest, a little easier to grab. Kick up in your hands. Maybe float. I gotta put a little bend in my knee to get that float for four, three, two. Release. All right, now bend your front knee, left knee bend, side lunge. I'm gonna bend my right. It's gonna open up my hip. Inhale, press it. That's it, y'all. Exhale, vinyasa. I am dripping sweat right now. I know, power yoga. Way hard, way, way hard. Walk it out. Now if you need a little rest, take your child's pose. If you're ready, we're gonna do a little bit of conditioning for the shoulders and the arms. So I want you to honor your body. We're gonna do a little shoulder press and then a little tricep work. Here we go. From downward facing dog. Take your hands as wide as your mat. Now if you're a little taller, you can even go off your mat a little bit. All right, here we go. Tippy toe up a little bit. So feet a little closer to your hands. Here we go, right leg high. Now maybe you stay right here with straight arms. Maybe tap the head. Head the mat. Now it's just like doing an overhead barbell press. So if you had a set of barbells in your hands, you're lifting up. Same thing, only you are pushing your own body weight. Push your own body weight. We got three more, y'all, three more. Woo! Two, and one. Now stay here or hover the head and inch off your back. For four, kick your leg higher. Three, two, and release, nice. All right, little child's pose here. Yeah, maybe circle the wrist. How we doing? Nice job, you guys, all right. 
We're gonna do one more set of that little shoulder press and down dog. And then we're gonna do a little bit more work on the triceps, core. All right, here we go. From child, come on up, downward facing dog. All right, right away, I'm in that wide position. My hands are wide, so they're not in close. Nice and wide. See if you can tip each other up a little bit. So I wanna drive more weight over my shoulders to make it a little bit harder. All right, to be toed up. Get your knees to be bent. Here we go, left leg up. Squeeze your booty, so keep your legs really firm here. Stay here with straight arms. Head tap, right there. Yeah. Now maybe just bending elbows a tiny bit. Yeah, so you're finding fatigue, finding the challenge here. This is strength. You're never gonna get stronger until you start challenging yourself. That's gonna stimulate the growth in your muscular strength. Beautifully on three. Keep tapping. Two and one. Stay here, leg high or cover the head. Four, abs in. Three, two, I'm shaking. And one, child's pose. Woo! I know you gotta give me a woo on that one. Give me a big woo. Woo! All right, little breather here. All right, now conditioning the shoulders and the arms are gonna make a lot of what we do in yoga easier. All the planks, chaturangas, downward facing dogs. Yeah, you need that strong base of strength in the arms and the shoulders. All right, here we go. More arm plank. I'm going to come down to my forearms, feet go back, feet a little wider, draw the tailbone under, chin away from chest, maybe come to your knees. So lots of options here, push them out away. So notice when you start sinking in, so you're going to feel your chest as the shoulder and chest, anterior deltoid and pectoralis. As they weaken, you're going to find your chest drop between your arms. I want you to push. So just squeeze like you want to squeeze these two shoulder heads towards each other. Beautiful. We got four. Squeeze. Tuck the tailbone. Three. Abs are lifting. Two. And one. Now stay here. Maybe come to knees. We're going to do a little triceps. So I'm just lifting my elbows off the mat a little bit and lowering. So little lift. You can do this on your toes. Way harder. Woo! Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Shift back, child. Ah. How do we do on those? I know. So trust the process of yoga. Every time you're doing a challenging yoga class, there's so many things changing inside of you. And this change is good, is growth. So the change might be, I need to just get a little stronger. Maybe the change is in your mind. Maybe you're telling yourself, I can't do this, I can't do this. So you can't strengthen your body without strengthening your mind. You can't strengthen your mind without strengthening your body. They're connected. So know that the stronger you get physically, mentally and emotionally, it's gonna come back in. All right, here we go. Lay on your belly. Little uh, locust pose. So I'm gonna give you the option, maybe arms behind, palms up. Lift your feet. Works the back really good. Now I like cactus arms on this one. So it engages the upper part of the back. Rock weights, I'm pulling elbows back, lats. Lifting feet. Now keep squeezing. So wherever your arms are, keep lifting, palms up. Yeah, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep holding. Could you get a little higher? Nice. Beautiful, y'all. Keep lifting for four, three, two, and release. Nice. Forehead to back. Maybe bend your knees here and just kind of wave your feet side to side. Wave your feet side to side. Alright, little quad stretch. So I'm gonna bring my left heel into my butt cheek. 
and just hold it right here. Left heel. If you want, you can roll on your right side body. I think get over there. All right, I can do a little sideline quad stretch. Yeah, that'll get that knee back a little bit. And then if you want, you can actually kind of roll back into a little half reclining hero's pose. And now you want to watch your knee. So if the knee's up and you're feeling strain in the knee, stay on your side. Always a place to go in yoga. So take out that need to push or force your body into a pose that's not ready for. Yeah, so yoga is not about looking a certain way. It's about really feeling, connecting. What do you feel in the stretch? Last two. Ooh. One more. All right, release. Roll back to your belly. All right, we're gonna do one more. Right foot, heel to hip. It's gonna help us when we come into our little back bend bow. All right, so remember you can roll on your side body, heel to hip, maybe pull the knee back. Then you can always tuck the foot under and maybe just roll halfway back. So you can kind of, your shoulders don't have to go all the way back. You can just stay right here, half little reclining, half arrow's pose. Maybe it's available in your knee, I don't know. And you be you. Awesome. One more breath. And release slowly. All right, both heels in. Roll the shoulder heads back. Lift your chest, start by lifting your chest. Bring your knees a little closer. We don't want the knees wide on bow. That's gonna put pressure into the sacrum, the lower part of the pelvis is fine. So knees together, inhale, kick in your hands, bow. Close your eyes, maybe drop your head here. Stretch, feel the stretch. Front of the chest, we just did shoulder work. We're stretching the shoulders. We're bending the spine for four. Stay in your back bend, three. Yeah, you can be way down here, two. Kick up a little higher, one. And release, beautiful. Now, just bring your shoulder, your hands on your shoulders. Slowly engage your abs, push back. Child's pose. Beautiful, y'all. Stretch your back. All right, now we did it. All we're gonna do is spend a little bit of time stretching and meditating. So take just a couple more breaths in your child's pose. Close your eyes. Slow down your breath. position on our yoga mat. See the position on our yoga mat. All right. So right leg is going to extend straight out in front of you. Left foot to your right inner thigh. Left foot right here. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, fold. Let your head drop. Close your eyes. I'd like to just relax here. Maybe put a little bend in your right knee. Yeah, maybe relax here. Now we built heat in the body, so that's one of the other benefits of vinyasa yoga is definitely coordination, strength, but we've heated up the internal temperature of the body, so this is the perfect time to move deeper into your stretches. So if you're a little stiff, a little tight, yoga is gonna really help you. And the heat you're building in a vinyasa yoga practice can help even more. Muscle tissue, soft connected tissue, tennis and ligaments too, are more pliable when they're heated. So if you want towel on your foot, and maybe you're just adding a little more intensity into your stretch. Yeah, close your eyes. Drop your head. Soften right here. Stretch. 
So I'm going to tuck this right foot by my right hip. Yeah, so it's going to cause you to lean a little bit over to the left. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to take this left foot. I'm going to kick it out a little bit. Yeah, so it's kind of a little bit closer to my knee. And then bow forward for deer pose. Maybe come on your palms here. Maybe your forearms. Now, we did a lot of big lifts using the glute and the thighs and the hips. So let's stretch them. Close your eyes. Drop your head. Slow down your breath. Yeah. Right now, what's changing inside of you? What is changing? Yeah, if you can really connect deeply to what's going on in your body, you're going to notice all of these amazing changes going on. Yeah, amazing changes. Left leg stays straight, right foot to the inner thigh. Step nice and tall, inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Again, maybe just soften here. I always kind of like to rock on my sit bones a little bit. Maybe just soften here. Maybe grab your towel, place it on the bottom of your foot, and you're just going to add a little more intensity to the stretch. That's all it is. It's just getting those muscle fibers to lengthen and release some of that tension, the fascia, all kind of these muscle spindles that have kind of built up the shortening of the fibers. It's going to start to lengthen and open up. Now it takes time. So again, trust the process of yoga. Trust. Every time you step on your mat, things are changing. Keep our breath here. Where can you soften? Can you slow down your breath a little more? Can you quiet your mind a little more? Can you can lift is okay. Maybe come to forearms. Maybe drop your head. And lean into your right hip. Close your eyes. Soften. Slow down your breath. And a few more breaths here. Lean in. Lean in. I think a lot of times what we learn on our mats kind of is a reflection of our lives. Sometimes when things get really uncomfortable in our lives, we avoid. And maybe we're avoiding really pursuing a different job or doing something that feeds our soul because it might be a little scary. And same thing with yoga. We might be afraid to lean in because we know it's going to be uncomfortable. We know it's going to be challenging. This is where we can really break through those self-imposed barriers that we've built up that's maybe got us a little stuck, not just in our bodies, but in our lives. Take one more breath, lean in. And we slowly, nice. Nice, straighten out your legs. Shake it out. 
out a little bit. I'm gonna slow her down onto the back. One vertebrae at a time. So just kind of take your time as you fly back. Now maybe bring your towel with you. This works really good to lay over your eyes in Shavasana. Let's bring our right knee to the chest. Give it a big hug. Feel the stretch in your hip. And let's come into a spinal twist. Right knee comes over to the left. Does it have to touch the floor? No, maybe just the foot. Extend your right arm, turn. Try to bring your right shoulder to your mat as you turn your head right. And maybe the knee kind of rolls down. If the shoulder is lifted, you feel a strain, just bring your shoulder to the mat and keep the knee lifted. Now eventually, as we start to work into these deep spinal twists, we'll notice that our spine is getting a little looser. So keep twisting. One more breath. And then turn the head. Let's pull the leg up slowly. Give yourself one more really big hug. And then switch legs. So left knee comes into the chest. And we get that super deep stretch there right in the back of the hip, the glute. And then when you're ready, let's roll the left knee to the right. Extend the arm. Remember, the knee can be lifted here again. So think about rolling the pelvis. So I'm trying to get my hip to roll over. And then keeping my shoulder planted. Now it's gonna to wanna to lift once you try to get the knee over. A lot of times you're gonna feel strain there. So just shoulder down, work the knee, keep turning the pelvis, turning the head. Last two breaths. Breathe into your twist. One more breath. And then turn the head. Lift the legs. Both knees to chest. Big hug. Big hug here. I'm going to grab my towel and we're going to prepare for Shavasana. Now Shavasana, the knees can be bent. I like to tap my knees here. This is a great release for the lumbar spine. So if you have kind of spinal issues, I'm going to move up a little bit. This really releases the low back. Some people like the legs straight, maybe wide legs, toes turn out to the side, towel over the eyes, and then palms turn up. Let's rock the shoulder heads under the back a little bit. So we kind of feel the shoulders really soften here. Belly soft, stay right there. Now as you notice the breath beginning to slow down, Notice the mind becoming a little quieter. Notice the quietness of the mind. And that's going to lead us into our final meditation. Now, vinyasa yoga, yoga is very meditative in and of itself. And it's really designed to kind of prep the body for seated meditation. So the practice, let me take that up just a tiny bit. The practice of yoga develops that mindfulness. We're focusing on breath, focusing on what postures we're in, what we're feeling. So now let's take the body out of the equation. Let's focus on the mind. I want you kind of notice the mind getting a little quieter. It's a little softer breath. And that's when we move into our meditation. Let's stay right there. Now, when we meditate, what we're trying to do is really control our thoughts. You can't empty your mind. It's just designed to be busy. Our minds are thinking all the time. Even when we're sleepy, our minds are very active, dreaming. Yeah. Meditation is about you learning to control your thoughts staying out of that monkey mind. Yeah, all the chatter that goes on in our heads every second of the day. What can we do to kind of control that? So we're going to need a focal point. Let's bring the mind to one specific point and try to hold it there. So we got to concentrate first before we can meditate. So bring the mind's awareness to the breath and hold your mind's attention there. It's going to want to wander. 
That's natural. You're not weird, right? You're normal. So when your mind starts to drift off into the chatter, you just gently coax it back to your breath. And you might have to do that many, many times. But that is the process of meditation. Eventually, you'll be able to hold your attention there a little longer each time until you can just become immersed in that space of nothingness, of non-thinking. I have about a minute here. can have a profound effect on your brain, developing neuroplasticity. Yeah, our brain's ability to build new brain cells is enhanced through meditation. And you don't have to make it this huge ordeal of 15 minutes or 30 minutes of meditation. Maybe all we need is just a minute when things get really stressful. And eventually, the more we carve away that little bit of time, we can go a little bit longer and we can add more time in and then pretty soon there's less moments of stress in our lives and we're a little more calmer and grounded through the practice of meditation. And on your next inhale, reach your arms over your head. Take a big stretch here. So I'm still laying on your back, big stretch. Full body stretch, just like you're waking up. And then bend your knees. Let's roll over to one side. Come into fetal pose. Knees into chest. Yeah, and just take a moment here. Just to get kind of grounding into like this moment of peace and serenity that we've created. Yeah, you have the ability to create that at any moment in time in your life. It's there. 
The yoga gives us the tools so that we can deal with stress on a different level. All right, let's press up to seated, legs crossed, easy seated posture, and then palms together in the heart space. Relax your shoulders down your back. Lift your spine up, ears over shoulders, shoulders over your hips. Close your eyes. Maybe gaze at your hands. Let's bring back that intention of change. Embracing it, embracing the challenges of our lives and recognizing that these are moments of growth, moments where we learn things, moments yeah, where things start to shift for us. Embracing change. Let's give our bodies some love, some gratitude, send out those loving, kind thoughts out into the universe. And now I bow to this inner light within you. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me. Visit Vibe now for all our yoga videos. You can practice with us on demand and give us a thumbs up or comment. Let us know what you like and we'll see you again. Bye.